Hello and welcome to your daily reading. Let's go ahead and see what messages there are for you today. Wow. Okay then. Now that was interesting. I just relit my candle. Okay, what a message. I usually look at the symbology of how the cards come out and I love it when they kind of fly out but not put out my candle. So it was a tower and the high priestess. Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. I kind of understand why that flipped out and put out my candle. It means a sudden unexpected turn in up your path ahead okay and high priestess is kind of saying you know for some of you it could be saying a sudden awakening like spiritual awakening others of you it could be saying that you kind of have a feeling this is going to happen all right um tower the tower sudden unexpected turn that you kind of feel um and page of cups it could very well be you, you know you may be someone that meditates a lot someone that receives quite um uh what's that word prophetic dreams uh where you kind of have dreams that kind of come true and um you know or visions uh because with the page of cups it's all about the imagination and um yeah it's, it's someone's spirit guide came and said um um restless heart so some of you may have a restless heart you know you just kind of want to you're raring to go but it's just not happening so that's for someone out there i don't know why that message came through king of swords king of swords could be you could be someone around you if you're the feminine king of swords air sign male Aquarius Libra Gemini if it's not an air sign it could very well be somebody who is your ex because the king of swords can also be someone that appears to be quite cold or cool towards you okay now um, king of swords could also just be a suitor now the hierophant is a commitment it is you know a long time ago they knew they said that um, hierophant is the marriage card a spiritual marriage card because it's a number five um, two being the anima and three being the animus okay masculine and feminine energies and when they're combined in a, in a single digit five it's a spiritual marriage uh, two souls um, that have been you know connected so sometimes it symbolizes marriage other times it symbolizes traditional or religious rituals type of um like christmas going to church every sunday you know or having your own ritual like getting up making a coffee going to work every day having your traditions or rituals okay it could also be you know um generational kind of traditions as well now the hierophant could also be um things are not as they seem okay that is its connection to the ten of swords actually ten of swords and the the hierophant both have the the deeper inner meaning that not all is as it seems so it, it's saying that there's a lot more to this than meets the eye the high priestess is saying that you already know you feel it okay so it kind of reiterates my my inkling that you're very spiritual you're someone who does a lot of meditating you also get visions um little little downloads from your guides and angels that you recognize okay and you understand them because a high priestess she under or he understands the the hidden meanings and the hierophant also understands the hidden symbols and sacred texts and things like that uh, through the imagination so if you've been asking for a sign that you've been getting um, the right messages from your angels and guides i often do that a confirmation through signs well this is it okay they're speaking to you and you're receiving it but what they've been telling you about is this tower that means it's an unexpected turn like i said now the moon is at night 
okay maybe someone that is around you that is quite mysterious it might be a pisces hierophant is a taurus um, and tower like i said is aries a scorpio energy now the the moon is a, a hidden meaning again you know so you've got a fair bit of mystery in this reading um and you kind of already know it's like you you get the vibe you might be very empathetic where you kind of feel your way through connections with people around you um this person's got vibes for you because the page of cups also symbolizes new love and this it might be a pisces like i said or somebody that is very mysterious there is a decision pending with the two of swords um you know the page of uh, pentacles is good news in regards to work finance um you know you may be getting extra hours at work that's going to give you some more money uh, at the end of the week or month depending on when you get paid it could also be just a bonus that's coming in for you it's generally good news financially if you went for a job and you're wondering whether you got it it's good news now this is about development and growth also possibly a house okay um, maybe visiting someone that you've got some feelings for visiting their home at night time because the moon also symbolizes night could also be a pisces or someone very mysterious okay so let's go ahead and clarify these cards now don't forget to hit like if you like it and click subscribe if you haven't already and if you have thank you so much for your love and your support now queen of swords that is you i'm reading for the air signs now aquarius libra gemini could be your person you may be exes now we have four of wands again um, meaning that we're developing growing expanding and the knight of wands wants to come visit your house maybe because the four of wands sometimes indicates your home your safe haven queen of swords home the knight of wands is coming to say hello um, also the knight of wands wants to develop grow and you know make things happen with you um, and just keep going with that um yeah there's an event uh an invitation to an event this person feels a strong spiritual connection it could also be growing the house starting a family um the knight of wands doesn't want to be the knight of wands anymore um they they might want to be someone a bit more serious let's see where this goes there's some changes happening could be a scorpio around you or a libra they want to do the right thing they want to turn things around with you if this is an ex they don't want to just come and visit you anymore they want things to be a bit deeper okay because they think they, if there's children involved they're thinking of the kids in regards to the ending if you have a scorpio child this is the scorpio child growing developing and maybe your ex doesn't want to miss out on <clears throat> excuse me their upbringing watching their child grow with you um, that's a very personal message so that might be your story it might not um, now they they don't want to go through the law courts if there's a, a separation happening they they don't want to just keep keep going with the legalities here um the death card and justice means a legal ending they want to turn things around with wheel of fortune so they want to see how they can patch things up and that is before the next birthday before the next festive season like christmas easter or the next event maybe they want to invite you out have a couple of drinks and talk about turning things around to developing they don't want to go through the legal situation with you if there's children like i said they're thinking of the kids and they don't want to miss out on the kids growing alternatively they they want to grow this spiritual connection with you now for some of you i'm getting a completely different story just off the top of my download that someone's guides just gave me so um the 
the message was that um, you're trying to move on to someone new and that person is going through a separation or a divorce and they don't want to put you through that whole ordeal but they still want to get to know you better so they're just trying to take their time in regards to your connection or your relationship depending on what is actually the the situation with you um, and them um, because they're still going through a lot uh, with their other situationship so they really just um they just want to take you out and enjoy their time with you as opposed to get too deep at the moment so you may be questioning you know what is exactly happening with me and this person they're just trying to take it easy you know kind of tempering down and slowing down um, I guess the progress of your connection as opposed to um, going full steam ahead Knight of Wands style um, so yeah they just want to see you have a good time with you when they can they've been thinking of you a lot you're both vibing but no one's saying anything um, trust your, your intuition with this lover and I think you do you've got a lot of intuitive cards you can hear your spirit guides completely that's a second confirmation in this same reading prayers that shall assist in this matter they're still in love with you okay so if you're going through a separation that is the story um, that I said they want to meet up with you and turn things around okay because they're still in love with you actually there is another card under there I wish you were her or him. Ooh, maybe it's both stories. The the one that's going through the separation, they're coming to you, wishing you were the one they were with. Wow. Okay, so confirmations all over the place here. So let me know how this resonates, what this means to you. If you liked it, please like it. Please join the Dark Light family by subscribing if you haven't already. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for your love and your support. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.